Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with an OG Vaznev 9K updated with some new attachments. Let's have a look at it. First, the Season 5's Quartermaster Suppressor helps with the recoil, and you'll notice there's a lot of it there. We'll talk about that in a second. Impacts the handling, the sprint to fire, but look at the sprint to fire 70 milliseconds. The numbers you see up here are going to be the final numbers based on all of the attachments that we put on the Vaznev here. Headshot damage is 38, so ostensibly you can get four shots to the head and a 231 millisecond, roughly, time to kill on a fully held the enemy that's inside 8.9 meters 32 32 and 31 for the torso and the upper legs respectively rate of fire is around 780 rounds per minute that's just about 13 rounds per second you can calculate the times to kill remembering that within the effective damage range the first shot is most likely going to be a hit scan so pretty much zero time the paracord grip grandpa's favorite you can see there's all pros no on specifically recoil control a little bit in the horizontal but the sprint to fire down to 70 milliseconds as i've said ads movement speed at 3.7 meters per second and look at the movement speed 5.3 meters per second it's a fairly quick weapon this is my favorite attachment. 45 round mag. Yes, there's going to be some red there. We can put a smaller mag on it. But Grandpa's going to play in free for all, meaning multiple engagements, and they're going to come very quickly. I won't have time to change the magazine and you can see that in general the Vasnef is fairly slow with changing out the magazines so we're putting 45 rounds on there anticipating gacking a lot of enemies the true tack grip that harms the recoil just a little bit but helps the ads speed at 202 milliseconds not anything to write home about with a smg but really not all that bad sprint to fire speed it helps 19 percent doesn't hurt or help anything else we might mention the accuracy hip fires around two degrees per second and tax stance two and a half degrees per second and here it is the vlk stockless you can see that it significantly helps mobility although grandpa is not going to be counting the hairs on his big toes so the crouch movement speed doesn't matter to me ads movement speed matters a lot 3.7 meters per second and you can see that the ads speed is helped as well as sprint to fire so 70 milliseconds it's like a pistol and speaking of pistols that's what i'm calling it the vasnev 9k pistol configuration i'm going to recoil 107.3 degrees per second on the kick, 18.71 degrees per second horizontal, and the vertical is almost 50 degrees per second. How does that play out in the shooting range? First, we're going to do hip fire with no attempt to control the recoil. Up and to the right through 45 rounds. Now let's look at ADS. Up and up slightly to the right easily controllable while we're talking about recoil i don't know if you noticed but in the opening frames the intro to this video there's a long shot there this weapon i didn't feel the recoil in game and people can say oh you've got some kind of recoil assist software hack cheat whatever i don't but what Grandpa's been preaching is that the recoil that you see on the page is not the same recoil you get when you're aimed down sight when the enemy is within the box for the aim assist. Because, man, I see absolutely no recoil. I don't know whether it's Activision or Sledgehammer and their EOMM giving me an assist or if that's what everybody sees with their aim assist. But we actually have a few converts now for taking off the stock and ignoring the old wives' tales in the statistics when it comes to recoil. So let's take the Vaznev 9K OG pistol, pistol version onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's mostly compliant enemies. Let's go. OG map dome. Actually, this weapon should be good on this map because even though it's 8 meters or so of effective damage range i think i'm going to have a little bit longer engagements and i am anticipating this high recoil weapon will have very little recoil 
Look at there. <laughs> Look at there. Straight as an arrow. And you can see I was holding it down just a little bit. Whoa, there he is. There he is. I was holding down just a little bit, the muzzle down, because after I made the GAC, the muzzle fell. So there is some controlling it, but it's very easy to control a snow 50 or 60 degrees per second. Like the ghost story. Oh, there's somebody gacking over there who got gack, but we can gack the gacker. And the guy that tried to gack me, so there's a zombie. Oh, zombie Zelvis, which makes a sick kind of sense. The King Elvis is now a zombie. So let's start our own conspiracy theory in the air crew lounge. So the weapon moves fast, 5.3 meters per second, which gets you across the map. Where is this guy? Oh, there's the zombie. There's Elvis. Zombie Elvis, the king. The bullets seem to be flowing pretty quickly, and it seems like the weapon is solid. You know, some weapons don't really feel all that solid. This one does. Absolutely no optic required for it. You have all the visibility in the world, especially if you're face down in the dirt after you've bought the farm two times in a row. What's going on here? Maybe see if we can find that guy. Grandpa wants a little revenge. Such a sweet dish in the cod world, at the cod table. Revenge, served hot. There's Elvis. Actually, Grandpa's Elvis. That's still zombie Elvis though. Grandpa's non-zombie -zo Elvis. This is getting confusing. Let's get back to the Vaznev 9K in the high recoil configuration. Just an absolute joy. I feel kind of invincible with it. Okay, maybe not completely invincible. Kinda, just kinda, there you go. Have one in the gourd. So Grandpa will look like a Muppet when he's healing and changing out the mag, but he always gets back up. He, he gets knocked down, but he gets up again. Boy, oh, get knocked down, but I get up again. They're never going to keep me down. That guy's not even looking behind him. He knew I was trying to gack him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. That 3.7 meters per second ADS movement speed was a godsend. And you can see I'm keeping my crosshairs in the middle. I know I'm going to get comments, raise them. But you know what? I can always jump. And I have a lot of people drop shotting me, especially. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Especially when we stream and you guys join me, there's one or two of you that love to drop shot. And I think people are going to be carrying their crosshairs a bit lower in Black Ops 6 with all that advanced movement. Oh no, <laughs> what a bad time to put out the mosquito drone. There's a better, better opportunity. There's somebody close, somebody far. You can see the recoil just isn't there. He's going to be waiting for me to come around the other side. And I didn't get the gack. Where'd he go? There he is. He's waiting for me with a knife. That would be elder abuse. He, he should be lucky he wasn't able to do it. I'd have to turn him in to the COD police. Who's that guy in the white jacket? Sometimes a Renetti. Is a good option when you're out of when you're out of bullets. Come on. He tried to throw a knife at me again. A little drop shot action there. So the Vaslev 9K is just I'm telling you, it's an awesome weapon. At least at maybe not point blank, but I'm a I can confirm that a little more. Grandpa wins. It's going to have to do a little dance, maybe. But definitely 10 meters 
15, 20 meters, you feel safe with it. And in somebody's hands that plays better than Grandpa, it'll be almost unbeatable. All right, on to the next. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of close in. Grandpa's already down by three. This thing is complete confusion. Cell ship, the new version of shipment. Grandpa's going to throw out those proximities. Whoa, ho. Just gets derezzed there. There's a Muppet. God, there's Muppets on this map. They're in every crevice, every container. Behind every head glitch, there's the Muppet again. Ghost face, the Muppet. Gets me twice. Amazonian werewoman. Did I get him? Yes. I always come back to reach out. The Muppets. There we go. We got Elvis on that one. And then we got d -rezzed. Jeez. There's the incredible rubber sink stopper. Skin. I think it wall banged through metal. It's a good thing to keep in mind on this map. Alright, Amazonian warrior woman. And then Grandpa immediately buys the farm. There's a Muppet. The blue, the blue nun Muppet. Is that the blue nun again? Yep. Muppeting again. That's the, uh, looks like a zombie matador or something. There's Blue Veil gonna go into the crevice. Grandpa gets drop shotted. By ghost of the something Muppet. There's the sink stopper. The rubber sink stopper. And this is mass confusion. You saw the drop shot. Some guys have insta drop shots. I don't know how that works out because my drop shot always takes a lot longer to get down relatively. Even jump shots don't work here. When three people are trying to gag you, what is going on? Nobody there. Oh, there's the purple veiled nun. Give her her bullets. Our offering is a bullet. There's a Muppet. Another Muppet. Actually, that's the ghost of whatever. A guy that was a Muppet the whole time. Quad kills help and free for all. I'm going to lie to you. So the Vaznef is just absolutely a fun weapon. It's almost like the static HV in the pistol configuration. This is their sink stopper. It's a pistol configuration for Grandpa with the Vaznev. Uh, throw out the welcome mat. And get the final gack. So if you try this one, let me know. Let us all know how you like the Vaznev. It's worth it. It's, it's some fun. It's worth it. Comment below. Please like and subscribe. Definitely helps me. Helps the family. Cheers and peace to you. See you on, was it Thursday night? Stream, 6.30 Central Time USA.